The sun is on the rise again And I'm in my tree stand A little secret spot That no one knows Touched by man's hand Truly God's plan That's why it's gonna stay Out of the corner of my eye It's time to let those arrows fly What can I say? This is in my blood Something I can't explain A criminal drug When the one I want steps into the morning light I'll be there Looking down the sides Hello everyone, this is PJ Collins with Backyard Outdoors. We want to thank you for stopping by to watch our episode. This episode is going to be a little different than anything that we've done in the past. It's going to involve a little predator hunting. Here in the Appalachian region, the predator population has skyrocketed in the last few years. This has gave us the opportunity to get out in the field and hunt some of these coyotes and bobcats, which for us has proven to be one of the most enjoyable types of hunting that we've done. In this episode, you're going to find Travis and myself after one big cat and one big dog, and we end up being successful on both of them. You also catch a January hunt with Colby and myself here in Martin County, Kentucky, to where we put another big bobcat to rest. Sit back and enjoy the episode. This hunt took place December 28, 2013 in Floyd County, Kentucky. This will go down as one of my most memorable hunts, and I know it will be one of Trav's. This was Travis's first bobcat ever, and this cat read the script before it came out in the field. Sit back and enjoy Travis's reaction to his first bobcat. That's what hunting's all about. This segment of Backyard Outdoors was brought to you by Stick and Shoot Magnetic Lighting Systems. Stick it on and smoke them. Backyard Outdoors getting it done again. Just laid down my first ball cat of the year. Then we'll go recover it. Oh. 
it was on our decoy. It just shows. It was on our decoy track. Yeah. Why? Decoy. That's a good old cat, buddy. Turn a pokey. Oh, that's a beautiful bobcat, Travis. That is massive. guys, it's uh, PJ and Trav with Backyard Outdoors, uh, back with you again. Travis just put down a beautiful bobcat. This is the first bobcat he's ever killed. This was just an awesome set. We're here in Floyd County, Kentucky, sitting in this big bottom. There's two hollows that come together right here. It's the first time ever predator hunting here, and um, we got it done. It was awesome. This cat almost attacked our decoy. We should have waited to see what it done with the decoy, but it, it, once it got about five foot from the decoy, it kind of act, started acting a little funny, so we was afraid that it uh, might take off and we won't be able to get the, the shot on, on video. But uh, it turned out awesome. Yeah. What do you think about Trav? Tears me up. You were throwing up, that's, that's what sure. about right there. This happened so fast, Beach. We're going to recover coat. PJ is shot. One of the fastest sets we've ever had. I mean, a matter of 20 seconds that thing come in. We'll try to get it done so fast. We got it done. And right there it is. Shot. Done. Right up there, baby. Be wow. Boy, I'm out there, Pete. Let's see. This is PJ and Travis. We're here with Backyard Outdoors. It is December 27th. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. We just done our first coyote set of the year and have one on the ground within 15 seconds. It was pretty cool, action packed. Travis done best he could with the camera, but um, the coyote responded so fast. Luckily, the camera was on because we were doing an introduction uh, video. And uh, I was like, draft, draft, coyote. It was, it was already on top of us. About 100, it was about 80 yards. And it looked up and had the sun in our face. Coyotes uh, caught a glare off the camera with a scope. It's a very intelligent animal. So as soon as it seen that, it was gone. It run back in this uh, kudzu thicket and stopped. And I had a shot, you see from its head up, about 115 yards. And we got it done, knocked it down. But uh, it was pretty uh, pretty action packed. We're hoping that we can get a lot more of this this year. But uh, it's pretty cool, one, Trev. Yeah, exciting. 
It just happened so fast. I mean, just a blink of an eye and it was there 15 seconds. I know it was close. I don't know how it didn't see us coming in. Luckily, the wind was in our favor. But uh, it's awfully thick in that kudzu vines, as you can see behind yeah, us. Yeah, the but, stuff is high and you just walk yeah. right past them and they never see you. Just like a big buck, they'll lay right in that kudzu and let you walk right by them and never get up. Throw but, Fox Pro done it. It sure did. Right out of it. The Savage Model 10 with a nozzle or 40 grain ballistic tip that dropped it in its tracks. But the uh, Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife just legalized the use of lights and hunting at night with coyotes starts February 1st, so we're really excited about that. You know, we can only use shotguns, no slug. The reason being, uh, February through March, is deer won't have antlers. So Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife being one of the most successful departments in the nation, um, we're glad that they allow, are gonna allow us to do this at night. And I love how they set it up to where it'll eliminate poaching a deer. That's the month deer will not have antlers. So it's very, very smart on their behalf, even though a lot of people are not agreeing with it. But if you think about it, it's, uh, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's great that that's the way they're doing it. So we're pretty excited about it. But uh, hopefully this year we'll bring you a lot more coyote action. We'll be back with you soon. We're going to switch locations and try to get us another set. Thank you. That's a shot right there, boys. <laughs> yeah. I said, little old Bob, that ain't that long. I said, I said, it's in a row, PJ. Pow. <laughs> What'd you say, John? I said, it's in a row, it's in a row. Pow. Did you hear me saying it's coming, it's coming, it's to the road, to the road? I thought you was asking where it was at. Because I seen it, see it come, it come in. Yeah, I know. It, it come in, right here, and went all the way up through there. And then got out and come back out in the road. I didn't see it go all the way up there. It seen us right here. Yeah. And then I seen it slithering through there, and I was following it the whole way. See big beech tree. It went in big trees, and I lost it. I haven't seen it anymore. Yeah. That was a shot, boys. Rode that thing. All right, boys. Sitting up here in Martin County with a couple of my buddies from this area. Got uh, Josh right here. Got Kobe back here behind us with the camera. Had a um, nice little bobcat come in there about, what, about 10 minutes into the set? Josh seen it first down over in this uh, in this little gully, and uh, I just caught a glimpse of it. It, ain't a, it don't look like a real big bobcat, and then I think it seen us, and it starts slithering away, and it got come out back out in this big power line, or gas well line about, that's at least 250 in it. Yeah, every bit of, every bit of About 250, and oh, 223 put it down. But pretty cool. You know, we ain't going back empty handed, are we? Heck no. And I believe we got the shot on film, we'll have to review it and make sure. But we're going to try to get after some more big yotes. We'll be back with you. Yeah. So right here, we're actually about 10 yards closer than where we actually shot it. I'm going to try to zoom in. This is with the 223, and it's a little bobcat. It should be laying right in here somewhere. That tree, that one tree sticking up down there. Right it rolled over the hill. I think right there might be it. But anyway, that right there just shows how far of a shot that was on such a little bobcat. And there's Kobe. He's probably... 80 yards, 70 right, yards from the me cat. right now. This is a, well, I, I think that it's safe to say that's close to 275. Yeah. You yeah, think yeah. so? Yeah. Right up here is where we shot it. Way up there on that hill. That's full zoom. Right there is where we shot it at. And it was standing right here. And it rode over the hill. Right there it was. Big old cat. Good deal. That's all right, ain't it, boy? That first cat you kill predator hunting? Like actually predator hunting? Predator hunting, yeah. We all see them in deer season, though. Oh, yeah. But it's that much sweeter when you're actually hunting for them. Down there and get it. 
That's a whole lot bigger cat than I thought it was. How sweet would it be if that thing come still alive and eat behind it? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty cat, boy. A real nice bobcat. I didn't either. That's because it's so far. It's a lot further to the bottom of that hill than what we thought. I'll lay my gun. Yeah, it is. Real good bobcat. Here's the cat. I'll lay my... Hold this camera. Pretty good cat. It's about three quarters size of my gun, and that's a 20 inch barrel. My cat's probably, say, no, it's for longer than that. I'd say it's about at least, yeah, you're right. Probably about 31, 32 inches. Yeah, it's a good cat though. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well. There you are, it's awesome. Oh, there you are. <laughs> We're gonna get after it again and try to bust us another. Well, there you go, folks. Thanks for stopping by and checking out our episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to stay tuned because we've got many more episodes to come. Be sure to check us out on Facebook at Backyard Outdoors. Thank you for stopping by and God bless. The sun is on the rise again And I'm in my tree stand A little secret spot That no one knows Untouched by man's hand